In the beginning, God created man and woman, and he said, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Here today, we are gathered to celebrate this holy union, a union not instituted by man, but by God, as a representation that he wants his bride, the church. Stars overhead, turn my head and I caught you by eye for the first time, my life to say. Cody Bradford, my love for you is overflowing right now. You have been my rock for three years, and I know in my heart that that will never change, just like the love that Christ has given to us. I'm so honored to take the last name of Bradford, sharing it with the man who stole my heart. Now I want you to do something for me. Stop, take a deep breath, and look around. Enjoy it, remember it, and don't let a moment slip away. Meet me tonight, 6 p.m. sharp at the Dunlavey. I'll be the one in white, your future wife, Miss Bradford. Your spouse will fail you. So to make your marriage work, Cody and Maddie, you need to know the secret. And the secret is the gospel. That Christ loves us unconditionally, despite our sin and flaw. Madison Alexander O'Neill, I know that I'm not a perfect man, and yet you still choose to love and serve me as Christ served the church and has done for us. And for that, my love for you will never grow old. Your love has given me a deeper understanding of how God loves his children. Love is more than just a feeling, it's a choice. And Cody, I choose to love you for the rest of my life. I spent many years praying for Cody's future spouse. And so this is evidence here that God answers prayers. You have all the qualities that a mom would want for her son's wife. The future is your ocean, and y'all are about to set sail. You will not fail. Your love for one another is hard to hide. If you ever need a reminder of your why, it's right by your side. For as much as Cody and Maddie have consented together in holy wedlock and have declared the same by the giving and receiving of rings, I, under God's authority, pronounce that they are husband and wife. And it would normally be at this time that I would say, Cody, you may kiss your bride, but Cody and Maddie have chosen to do something pretty special as a symbol of their desire to seek first Christ's kingdom and his righteousness instead of coming together First, as an embrace, they want to come to the Lord first in worship. Cody, you may kiss your bride. Proud of you, proud of the young man and young lady you turned into. Toast to Maddie and Cody for a long, Christ-centered marriage.